Okay, day two of similar triangles. Remembering back from yesterday, two properties that we know about similar triangles are the corresponding angles of the triangle are equal. That's fancy for the same. The ratios of the corresponding sides. So big divided by small for side A and what it matches up with, side B and side C are all equal. That's still fancy for the same. Determining the scale factor. We've done this before. We're going to do it again. So we need to look. And I'm going to choose ABC or whatever. If I choose L, vertice L matches up with the side across from it. So there's my equal angle P matches up with the side across from it. I have one angle given, N, matches up with OP, K okay, matches up with ML, which they've labeled C, which would mean the last side, side B on the small triangle, which matches up with vertice O, actually corresponds to 11 centimeters, side M or vertice M. So again, let's look. I'm going to look at the larger triangle, and I have two matching sides, two corresponding sides. So 12 divided by 6 gives me a scale factor of 2. Right? So again, that is big triangle divided by small triangle. So KML, which matches up with N O P scale factors two. So that means the big triangle is two times bigger than the small triangle. If I did it the opposite way and said the small triangle compared to the big triangle, I'll get six over twelve, and that ratio, that scale factor would be a half. So the small triangle is half as big as the big triangle. Determine the missing sides. So, I got C. I don't know what that is there, but I got 11 and B. So let's see. Again, I can choose. So I'm going to put B on top. So small triangle divided by big triangle. And that's going to equal my scale factor, which I found, of 1 half. Because I did small triangle to big triangle, small triangle to big triangle, I've already found that as one half, and now we math, times 11, times 11, 1 times 11 divided by 2 is 11 halves, which I can reduce if I want to, because I have a unit and a half is a decent fraction, so it's going to be 5.5 centimeters. Side B, 5.5 centimeters. Now I need to find side C. And side C matches up with orange, but I don't have orange. What else do I remember about right angle triangles, that 90 degree? Oh yeah, that's right, something about like a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. So I have a C squared. I'm trying to find my B squared, which in this case is the letter C. I'm going to write an X just so we're not super confused. Actually, let's label it K, because that's what it should be. And my A squared is 11 squared. So let's math. 11 squared, 121. Plus K squared equals 12 squared, 144. Cool, 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 cool. Take away 121 from the left, which means we take away 121 from the right. Math is equal. 
and fair and awesome. 144, take away 121 is 23. Now we gotta get k by itself, k squared, so we're gonna take the square root of k squared, which means we're gonna take the square root of the right, and k is equal to 4.80. Four point seven nine five eight three one five two three, which we round two decimal places, four point eight zero centimeters. Cool. Okay. Let's see. Can we remember from yesterday or previous information? How do we create and prove similarity? So, is D E F similar to A B C? So let's see, order matters. D is gonna match up with A. So D is gonna match up with A, which means the side across, the side across. E is gonna match up with C. So E is gonna match up with C. Side across, side across. And F is gonna match up to B. So, going back to yesterday, our three ways to prove, do we have two angles that are similar? Well, I only have one angle in each, so I don't have a second one. Do I have all three sides and their ratios? One, two, three, one, two, ooh, I don't know the third. I can figure that out, that's later on in the course, to actually find out how long that is. I can't assume that if these two sides match, that the third matches, yet, yet. So the third way that I could prove was a side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. Well, the angle's good. It's 60. So let's see, does the ratio of my green sides match the ratio of my blue sides? Let's figure that out. So let's go large divided by small. 3.7 over 1.5. And does that equal 2.4 over 1.2? Okay, 2.4 divided by 1.2 is two. That's pretty sweet. 3.7 divided by 1.5, beep, beep, beep. 2.46666, so 2.47. So they are not equal ratios, which means, therefore, DEF is not. Similar to triangle ACB. Looks like it, but we can't assume. Okay, flip the page. More determining side lengths. Go ahead and start labeling the sides. Let's see, say which two triangles in the diagram are similar. Do you see two triangles? There's one, there's two. So let's see, corner A is gonna be this whole thing. Which vertex is that still match with? Well, let's add some angles here. These two lines are parallel which means this line here, that angle is gonna match that angle. Again, why? Remember that F pattern, grade nine? Oh yeah, 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 I do, I do, I do. Because they're parallel, this line makes these two angles the same. And vertex D is the same for both triangles, the small and the big, so that's pretty good. So that means if that angle is gonna match up with that one, A is gonna match up with E. Vertex B, that whole thing, is gonna match with vertex C. And vertex D, 
for the small triangle there, and for the large triangle there. So let's see what we know. Again, angle E and angle A. actually match because of the F pattern rule. They're the same interior angle. And angle B and angle C match again because of F pattern. And then angle D actually matches up with angle D. So we have two angles are the same, the third angle is the same. So that means that two angles are similar. So we know, therefore, triangle ABD is similar to triangle ECD. Angles and orders count. So let's start matching up what we know. Well, we got green matches up with green. And blue matches up with blue, so big triangles will be the whole thing. 8 plus 6, which is, what is that again? Oh, yeah. And it's over 6. Hey, that's pretty handy. I could do that right now. Oh, times 6. Times 6. Okay, so x is 14. In my unit, centimeters. And all of that is going to also match up with our orange, so our big one, 3.6, ooh, plus y. All over 3.6. So again, I'm going to use those two. To find y. Let's rewrite it, just so that you can see it clearly. Okay, y is on this side, got to get rid of 3.6. So do that math, 3.6 times 14 divided by 6, 8.4, okay, good enough. Subtract 3.6, subtract 3.6, and y is 4.8, so y, 4.8 centimeters, and I've determined it. Cool, 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 cool. Challenge, I'd like you to think about this. Give it a try. The last video ended abruptly, but all of a sudden, if we're talking about the area, base times height divided by two, let's see if you can determine the area for P, Q, R, and then the ratio of that sort of thing. Let's see what it is. We can look at the scale factor, but basically, again, if we know the scale factor, we can square it to get how much bigger the area of the larger triangle will be. So give that a try if you want. Otherwise, practice, practice, practice. All right, good job.